All right, this is Mignon, the Diligence Coach. And I just want to take a moment to welcome everyone, first of all, to the group. Thank you all for joining the group. I'm very excited and looking forward to uh, what's going to be in store for us during this journey. And I hope that you're excited, too. I think that this is going to be really a uh, great experience. Um, and I pray that you get a lot of value for being a part of this group. So the way that this group is going to run is going to be a daily focus. And from today for the rest of the week, you're going to see where I'm going to roll out the daily themes for each day. So if you haven't seen it already, I have the post up for today, the image that talks about Starting Strong Sunday, which is what today is. So you'll be able to see that in the group if you haven't already. So each day you'll be able to see um, for Monday through the rest of the week, each day I roll out the topic for that day. And as we get through the end of the week, you'll realize that we kind of are going to touch on a lot of different areas of life because I truly believe in being holistic and, and dealing with our lives as a whole. You can't really focus on one area but neglect everything else. So um, I'm going to be touching on a little bit of everything, but the overall theme is that we're dealing with how do we have the mindset um, to be able to be successful and what strategies do we need to connect with that to be able to reach our goals and the things that we're looking to achieve in our lives. So today we are dealing with today starting strong Sunday and the topic is what are the two inevitable things that we need to be prepared for each week. There's two things that we will always uh, have going on in our week that is inevitable. So what are those two things and how do we prepare for it? So we, I want us to look at the week like this. So if you look at your week like uh, like going on a trip, okay? So from Sunday to Sunday, as you're getting ready and prepared to go on that trip, um, you're, for me, I work about 15 to 20 minutes from my job. So I may be going to work and I may have a quarter tank of gas and, you know, that'll get me to my job and back with no problems. I may not go to fill up my tank because I know that I can get me there. But sometimes I go to visit my family in up in Maryland, which is about three hours from where I live. So when I'm going there, before I go on that trip, I make sure that my gas tank is completely full because it's a longer distance. In, in, able, in order for me to have the fuel necessary to get to that destination, I need more fuel in the tank. Or if I choose to not fill up in the beginning, I know that there's certain stops along the way that I can stop at to be able to fuel up along the way. So when we're looking at our week, we should also kind of keep that in mind to say how, you know, what, what do I need to be able to get to my destination this week? In order to do that, we have to already ahead of time think about what's going on in our current week. So making sure that we have the fuel necessary to start strong so that we can get through our week. You know, it may be the preparations that we make today may get us through the whole week or, you know, we may be able to prepare today for different rest stops along the way to kind of re-up and get the fuel that we need to be able to get to um, the, the, the different things that come up in our week. So what are these two things that we need to prepare for as we get through the week? There's two things. The first thing that we need to prepare for that is inevitable is opportunity. Opportunity. That's the first thing that is inevitable to be a part of our week. There's always opportunities present in our week. So the first thing is, are we aware of it? Are you aware of the opportunities that, that are presented, presenting itself to you in the week coming up? Are you aware of it? Because sometimes we miss out on opportunities because we're not even aware of it. We don't have ourselves tuned into uh, the possibilities that are there. We try to give some examples. So let's say you're looking for a job. There may be a job fair coming up on Thursday. Are you prepared for that opportunity? Do you, are you aware that that's going on? Do you have your resume prepared? Are you uh, um, in position to be able to meet that opportunity? Or is that something that's going to miss you because you didn't really think about the fact that that opportunity is there for you? Um, and when, the more aware we become, the more we're able to kind of tune into even more opportunities that are around us. You know, um, so sometimes there's an awareness of the opportunity. The second thing is we need to be able to create those opportunities. So if there's not an opportunity for something that we, you know, have a goal to meet, sometimes we have to be the one to initiate it. Sometimes we have to be the ones to create that opportunity. 
uh, we have to look for something to be able to, to get us to the next level. So, you know, we don't want to go passively from week to week, from Sunday to Sunday. And, you know, there's goals that we have, but we didn't, we weren't aware of opportunities that would have helped us on that goal. And we're not creating opportunities to be able to reach that goal. If you have a goal for your relationships that you want to be able to uh, nurture re your relationships better, are you aware of some time during the week which you can, where you can meet with one of your loved ones to spend time with them or is there a way that you can create and carve in that time throughout the week so that you can work on that area and spend time with that person? Um, so there's a multitude of opportunities that are there for us throughout the week. And it's up to us to be able to be in tune for those opportunities and then be prepared for those opportunities when they're around us. There's nothing worse than an opportunity knocking on your door and you're like, oh, I'm not ready to go. Um, I'm not dressed. I'm not prepared. You know, I don't have the necessary things and, you know, you otherwise, you've been waiting for this thing to come. So that's the first inevitable thing that we will face this week that we should prepare our minds to be prepared, um, ready for as it meets us. So the second thing that's inevitable is obstacles. You know, we're going to definitely face obstacles in this upcoming week. Um, it's inevitable. So the first thing I want to say about obstacles is that every obstacle is in itself an opportunity. Every obstacle is an opportunity in itself. So what do I mean by that? If you, let's think about let's, let's think about um, someone who runs a race um, when they're running track. You have the track stars who run and they jump over the hurdles. You know, so an obstacle is like a hurdle. So when they're running, you know, they've trained and prepared themselves when they come to that hurdle to be able to jump over the hurdle. You know, and then I've also seen people who didn't quite make it over the hurdle when they clipped up over the hurdle. So that's kind of how obstacles are for uh, for us. And it number one, sometimes we're able to jump over that obstacle, and now we have the opportunity to uh, add that to our success story. We have the opportunity to be victorious. We have the opportunity to overcome. So an obstacle gives us an opportunity to overcome that thing. Um, there's also the opportunity to not overcome it. It also presents the opportunity for us to get clipped up and, and trip up over that obstacle and to not quite, you know, make it to the place where we were trying to go. Um, so we have to prepare our minds for the obstacles that are potentially going to meet us in the coming in the coming week. So sometimes they catch us off guard and we just have to overall always be preparing ourselves, preparing our mind and our spirit and our bodies and our um, self to be able to meet anything that comes our way so that we're not completely thrown off by it. And then there's the obstacles that we know about that we have to take the time to prepare ourselves so that we can uh, meet it. So there's certain things we always deal with. So if you, if you are um, a person who is co-parenting and you know that on Friday you're going to see this other person and they always cause you to act completely out of character. So you know this obstacle is coming up Friday. What are you going to do this week to prepare yourself to to jump over that hurdle and be successful versus getting clipped up over that hurdle once again? You know, so, you know, what what are you going to do when your coworker who always gets you sidetracked, that obstacle that's going to come up? How are you preparing so that you don't clip up and trip up over that obstacle and you can jump over that hurdle and be successful? So, the two things that are inevitable in every week, number 1 is opportunities. How are you preparing for the opportunities that are going to present themselves to you this, this week? And are you working to create opportunities for yourself so that you can move forward from week to week? And number two, obstacles. How are you going to make this, op this obstacle an opportunity for success and not an opportunity to get tripped up? So those are the two things that I wanted to share with you today on Starting Strong Sunday. I hope that that was, was valuable to you and that you're able to use that to be able to set your mind and set your... Um, self to be able to be successful in this next week. Please do share in the group. Um, um, if you haven't seen the image yet for Starting Strong Sunday, there's a question on there. If you can share with us um, what your one thing is for the week that, you, that you're working on to prepare for. And um, feel free to, to talk to other people in the group to be able to, um, you know, encourage and support each other. I really want this to be a group for accountability and uh, support to be able to uh, just add value to each other's lives. Um, just on that note, a few housekeeping things. 
Um, please do share the group with other people. Please don't add people to the group, though, because people don't really like to be added to groups sometimes. Um, if you think someone may be interested, just hit share and invite them over to the group. Um, um, we'll hit share so that they can add themselves to the group if they're interested. Um, but please do share the group out if you think it is valuable. And um, if you haven't already, check out the group rules and there's certain hashtags that we're going to use. And like I said, there'll be a daily theme and each day this week you'll see what that theme is going to be um, for each day. Um, and also kind of stay, try to stay on topic for whatever the theme is that day. And we want to really add substance. I don't really want this to be a group where we're dropping links and that we're trying to um, there will be opportunities that I will present for us to do networking and to learn more about what other people are doing in the group. There will be a lot of opportunities for that coming up, um, but I want to keep it to those times when we're actually doing that um, so that the group doesn't get out of hand as more people come into the group. So if we can do that, and, um, and that will be great. So happy Sunday to you. Start strong. Um, um, hopefully you'll come back and catch this on the replay, and I look forward to you. I Ideally, I would like to go live every day in the group for each topic that we have. I don't know if that's actually going to happen. We'll see. But I will be going live at least a few times a week on the various topics. So um, I will post the, the time for that so that you'll know ahead of time. But you can always come back and catch the replay. All right. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. And be blessed. Shalom.